guys. So, I brought a van. <laughs> this is her. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I finally have my home I've been looking for so long. It's taken me about three months to find this van and I have looked at so many. So this is a 2009 Toyota Hiace. It's the long wheel base. So it's a lot smaller than my Ford Transit, which is exactly what I want. I want it to be small. I don't want it to be so obvious that there's someone camping in there. And it's a little bit more mechanically known around Australia so if anything does happen in the future I can just go to any mechanic because the Ford Transit being a European car I couldn't just go to any mechanic and there was one stage where I literally had to drive all the way from Queensland down to Melbourne just to see a transit specialist I saw about seven mechanics and no one could help me with this one transmission problem so they finally fixed the van and then I just had a bit of fear in my head constantly about it always breaking down and it was a diesel so the engine was so loud. I think I just I just needed to get something different and a little bit more reliable. So that's why I chose um, the Toyota Hiace and it's something that I've always wanted. I feel like it just suits me so much more and I absolutely love her so much. So the previous owner, his job was doing flooring and so there was a lot of varnish on the floor um, but he did also have the whole entire thing like protected so he had um, extra boarding put down on the floor which was very difficult actually to get up. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Varnish guys, varnish everywhere. That's piled on. Yeah, it's been spilled over the years. Uh, there was also a big barrier here and there were caddy shelves as well. So we've completely ripped all that out. There are a few holes now from all the shelves and the flooring drilled. Um, so we've got to fix all that up. And I've spent a few days trying to just scrub the really thick parts of the varnish off. Um, it has been a little bit difficult to remove, but I just want it to be nice and clean because then my dad is going to help me um, just give it a little sand, put some rust protector on there, and then just freshen it up ready for um, the insulation. And that is, that's pretty much it so far. And we're not rushing. I'm just taking my time to do this van build because I want to make sure I do it properly, especially because this is my second time now living in a van. Today, Dad and I are just working on the van. So we have um, completely removed all of the nails. There's like a thousand holes. <laughs> and Dad has just given a, it a sand. There was a little bit of rust on the back of the door where the seal goes. So he's given that a sand. Um, and then we have just painted it with rust protector. So this is what we've used on the floor. One coat is enough. It is very, very, very thick. And then tomorrow we will fill all the holes in. We just brought a heap of those little rubber grommets. So we'll fill all those in and then try and get the rest of the floor done. But today we can't really do much because this is going to take a while to dry. He won't let me use the jigsaw, the jigsaw just yet. So he wants to do it all.
Hey guys, so we have finished the floor. We have put the barriers down. We glued that with the no nails. We've used the foil board for the insulation. We're going to do that on the floor and on the walls as well. And then we put the plywood on top. I did just go for the normal plywood. Um, I'm hoping that will be okay because now I'm hearing that you should probably use the marine plywood but that's already done now so I can't take that back and we've actually put down the lino so the lino is all done um, we will finish it off with a nice um, edging as well also painted the step and the back put some nice new seals in there she's looking good looking good so on Sunday we're gonna be starting on the roof we're gonna stick the hatch in and put the wooden um, put what the hell are these things called? what are they called what do you call them like just bits of timber we're gonna put the timber on the roof that's what we're gonna do it's been a little bit confusing to me and I've struggled to get the camera out because I've never done this before and yeah it's just it's a little bit of a struggle I won't lie um, but we're getting through it and it making progress and I am very excited but also at the same time it just geez it's hard that is that's all for this video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and if you got any pointers for me please leave a comment please let me know what you think um, if you like this video give us a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time do you want to get a van and travel I do yeah I'm going to be the next Joe Bloggs out there. <laughs> what kind of van would you get? Would you want to go to Toyota? Get a, I'm going to get a rigid truck. <laughs> <laughs> a lorry. A lorry. Don't you want to go to Toyota? They're so much better. You need something to stand up in. Look, by the time you sit here, if you're sitting down like that, I suppose you're all right. Yeah. If you're sitting on a chair like that. <laughs>